doesn't burn it off. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to review this Miali nail extension gel kit. Now I got this a while back on Amazon. It did cost me $30.99 and this is how it looks like. Hope nothing falls off. There you go. Anyways. So here I'm going to show you what I have on this camera over here so you guys can see very well. And we have here a clear, a clear cutter. This is my first time, time trying this so I don't know nothing about it. I'm just learning as you are. So I have a clear cutter here. And then I have a bright white. And I have a natural pink. All of these are 0.5 fluid ounces or 15 milliliters. I also have, um, I guess, the instructions that obviously we need to read. As you can see, every single instruction is there. Next, we have the Soak Off Gel Polish Base Coat. And this one is the ooh, Soak Off Gel Polish Top Coat. We have here a brush, which is nicely packed, actually. And it does have their name on it, as you can see. And it is a spatula on one side. And a brush on the other side. So that's nice. I'll just put it like that. I have a nail file, obviously. And I have some nail nails or like the forms kind of I don't know how you call them but here it comes with that so this is a small mini kit that you could try at home probably if you like and if you do you could probably get the big ones like I am not gonna buy I normally don't do um, nails so I don't want to buy like a full huge bottle because I am not gonna do them all the time by myself and this was good good enough for me and if I do like it I'll probably buy the big bottle or something like that so, let's get on with the video. Let's start reading the instructions. And here it is. Um, how to store, warning tips, um, how to remove, interesting, practical, practical application. And it says, after doing a session nail, gel nails, you can also apply other nail decorations as you want. Great for both professional nail specific specialist or nail art learner in nail salons or DIY nail art at home at home this is a wonderful gift for your wife girlfriend mother or sister um, step one okay it says to file your nails before that it has a nice little it also tells you in the package what's included but I think I read it around here. Okay, um, it says warning tips. What? Warning tips. Will it easily break or fall off? And it says filing the nail surface, applying nail dehydrator and primer, which I didn't know I needed. And I went out, let me get it here, and I got a dehydrant. And I also got a primer hopefully these are it because I don't know nothing about nails so there you go help to move help to make the nail more durable and adhes adhesive usually the nails will not break easily but make sure that you cu cure the nail fully you care 
Do you need a lead lamp? I don't have one. Over here. I do have this small little light that I got a while back. This was from Wish. Um, but I'm not sure it's going to work because I don't remember how many watts it was or nothing like that. So I'm just going to put that, this by the side. But sneak peek for you guys. Sneak peek. For my next video or my next review, I'm going to review this gelin. And it does have a, you know, it's dirty. It's dirty. There you go. I, it does have a... UV light inside, I think it is. So I'm going to use that for now. It's a small one, I think. Yep. UV light. I'm going to use that for now. This is a mess. It came out in like that. So it does have a nice UV light in here. UV LED nail lamp. All right, and it has a small little USB cord. So I have that too. Let me prep it here so I can have it here. Nice and prepped before we start. Read your directions first. Always read the directions first, the instructions, um, so you know what you're getting into, which, by the way, I don't do. And I have my computer way down here, so I'm just going to take it in. And... Put it inside there you go open it up and we have a uv light let's put it right here on the side for when we need it i am all over the place like literally i am but let's start it says file file your nails so we're going to start doing that this is very rough so as you can see, you can actually see me through here. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I'm just going to file a little my nails. I think that's good enough. Let me get in closer so you guys could see. Right there. I think you want it all over the place so you could I'm gonna fast forward this part because it's gonna take a long time just to file these Before I did this, like a while back, I did prep my nails, um, pushing my cuticles back, making sure there there were no cuticles on the nails. So um, you know, it, won't, it would be nicer, I think. So yeah, I did that a while back. There you go. 
the next the next step it says to apply base coat then cure lead with lead or UV lamp UV lamp for two minutes and lead lamp for 30 to 60 seconds well this is a UV lead nail lamp how much should I leave it for I don't know but let's start with that it says base coat so we have a base coat here and we're gonna start with that And let's just cure it for 60 seconds again. 60. There you go. Let's wait. It gets hot. Like literally you could feel your nail hot for a few seconds. Hope it doesn't burn it off. Now I'm gonna do my other hand. Um, it says afterwards, let me read the directions. I'll add it, it says to choose a suitable nail form, apply a little gel on the nail form. Um, But it doesn't tell me where I should use my dehydrant or the primer. It says that I should, but it doesn't tell me when. I'm gonna have to go to Nail Clarier Education for a bit. Let me go check it out see what she says so we're going on YouTube so I was supposed to use the dehydrator first and then before I added the base I was supposed to use the primer and I didn't but we're gonna keep on going I'll probably do it another time the correct way so it also says here, eh, choose a suitable nail form. There you go, those are nail forms. So here we go. Here's our nail forms. Well, there's a lot here. I guess you could do your thumbs for your, you know, your toes. Those are huge, anyways. Look at all of them, these are a lot. But it's nice to try them out in case I have different, you know, um, you know, thickness of the nails. I don't know how you call it, you know. Sometimes they're not the same. So it also says afterwards it says apply a thin gel on the nail form so I'm gonna be using the natural pink check this out okay it has this you just open it up it's a clear can you see that clear pink 
and afterwards it says use the brush to spread the gel through the nail and slowly and evenly I'm gonna grab the brush um what's what's the spatula for then if I don't need the spatula so let's start I'm gonna grab my thumb here and grab a little bit of product it says just a little bit check again it says put a little gel on a nail form then it says use the brush to spread the gel through the nail and slowly and evenly all right then this way this way i guess these lines here as you can see them is how far you want or how long you want the nails for you know I don't know I'm just gonna try this it a little bit it's, I don't know if it's like that oh my god this is so this is look at this this is so sticky all right Anybody who has done this before, comment down below if I'm doing it right or am I doing it wrong? Because <laughs> I know I'm doing something wrong probably. And then it just says to put the nail form on your nail firmly. So let's, let's do this. Firmly. Okay, cure you that for two minutes or let land for 60 seconds. Set it firmly, so there you go. Firmly. Let's grab the lamp. Let me take this away. Oh my god, it gets so hot. Ooh, it's so hot. It feels like you're putting like a, a match right next to it, like really close to it, and it starts getting like that hotness where you're like, oh, just like that. Is that normal? Do you guys know? Is that normal? I'm actually gonna leave it for two minutes because when I, is this supposed to be sticky? The base coat supposed to be sticky afterwards, even though. I'm gonna put it for 60 seconds more in case, I'm not sure. So it's said to cure for 30 to 30 60 seconds or two minutes on a UV lamp and then it says put the nail form away tips shake it gently until it is loose enough to be unloaded so I guess to take it off okay oh okay I could. can you see that it's coming off super excited about that oh it's hard I'm sorry I'm really amazed I think um I need a little bit more in the corners as you can see let me put it here as you can see in the little corners <laughs> that was my first try so let's get on with the other nails I'm super excited about that into the corners it out it's really sticky and I'm just gonna plop it on again firmly like I said look there's some bubbles I think you could just push them away or is that bad Is that normal to get bubbles in there? Next, this one. I'm using less and less product as I go along. I 
like I'm getting it. It's gonna be hard to work with these. but it's like really sticky. One by one is better. Sorry about out of frame sometimes. I'm just looking at this camera and then I'm looking at that one. I'm like, where am I supposed to be? But I'm trying, I'm trying. Probably like my first time filming with two cameras I normally sometimes if I've done this before I did it with my phone um, I'm trying different things and I hope you guys like and enjoy it and I'm about to run out of my battery on that camera and on this one too so I could check that out <laughs> Make sure none of the products are nearby the UV light, like um, the little, how do you call it, the brush or the product because it's going to get harder. I have here one battery. Where's my other one? Sorry if probably um, you see me in different shades, a little bit darker, a little bit. It's the lighting outside, it's changing. Even though I have a light inside, my window is open. But what can I do? <laughs> nature is nature. But what I am noticing is that I'm using too much product and it's building up um, after the nail, you know, under the nail. Like as you can see, let me see can see it's building up so I'm gonna see how you know I'll use a less product to see how it goes I'm not sure how it's gonna go so well, let's do it keep on going um, yeah keep on going it's like that and what I've noticed is that it's gonna push back every single time I put it on you know it's gonna go forward to the end so, so white swipe and the ends look ugly but I know that when you um, cut it off and you you know file it down it's gonna look alright so there you go. I just used a little dot this time. And I'm just gonna pack it on. Pack it on and the light. 
um, I suggest you using the light after each one just because I noticed on the other ones um, it did get a little bit started like pulling away because since it has a harsh C shape on it like you're pressing down on the nail so it could like stick to the nail and if you don't it's gonna start like you know coming off and it's gonna leave like little bubbles on the nails so I suggest um, doing your nail and then just UV lighting it yeah I'm doing 20 20 minutes I was about to say 20 minutes I am doing two minutes <laughs> for each nail so yeah um this is pretty easy it's not that bad you know, it's really easy This is like with any other nail product you have to you know keep on trying keep on um, trying practice 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 and practice does make perfect like you get better and better each time I remember the first time I tried nail polish like trying to really try to like get it inside the lines and not spread it all out um, I spread it all out so practice practice is key gonna shimmy it away <laughs> this scares me there you go yep a little bit less on the tip yep a little is where to go and the pinky So I'm gonna finish this like I did before. I'm gonna press it in and I am going to cure that with a hair inside because there's a hair inside. Um, oops. And and I'm gonna do my other nail off camera. And we'll be back to file them down, clip them, whatever, and finish the finishing touches. <laughs> so I'll be back. So we are back here. As you can see, <laughs> I have some really bad inconsistency. But we're gonna work with that also I noticed that if you don't press enough on the nails when you put it on like your the form if you don't press it enough down you will get bubbles and those bubbles are obviously hollow and you can see I don't know if you can see you could bend them so I did get to one right here and one right here um, so let's keep on going you know with this process to see what's next and da -da -da -da. cure put the nail away we are done with the nail forms is use nail uh, use a nail clipper cutter or nail file to trim the nail edge to be the shape you like okay so let's do that where is the nail file here it is so i am gonna file them down i'm Actually not that I'm just gonna make them a little bit oval and I'm also gonna cut the excess that I have because I did do some of them too long I suggest always following the little lines inside how long you want them Let's see. how long you want them you could go to each like if you want three lines up just you know put it on your nail check what how much lines you want up and if you want three then all of them you put them three lines that way you get it you get what I mean yeah I did not understand myself at all so I'm gonna grab my nail clippers right here and I want to make my nails um, oval 
just because I always have them um, like square I want you know another another nail form so I'm just gonna cut the edges right here like this and just a little bit and obviously I'm gonna afterwards file them down how much I want because obviously as you can see some are longer than the other ones so you can see I'm probably gonna use them all at this length because this is the shortest one that I have and I am gonna so I'm gonna use the file it came with and I am gonna you know file them to that oval shape that I want It files down really, really easy. It's not hard. Look at how fast that was. I have them oval. That was really, really easy. It's not hard at all. Just right here because I got a little bit out some product so there you go just file away let me grab my little brush look at how cute oh my gosh I'm super excited Super, super easy. Oh my god. I like having semi not long nails, like not that long. Um, first of all, I have kids. Um, I need to work with them sometimes, you know. Um, and I have done accidentally scratched them with my nails. So um, I know how long I should have them. Um, so we don't have no accidents in case when I am, you know, doing their hairs, putting it up like in a bun, you know, you sometimes grab the hair and you scratch them a little bit. Um, now I know how to, you know, what length I need. <laughs> so that doesn't happen. And um, what is this? I just, this one doesn't need that much because I did do it small. God. Are you seeing how fast I am, you know, filing these down? And they're very sturdy. Let me just make a little bit more round in the corner. Look at that. Let me just brush it off. start doing my other now. Do you see my daughter right there? Look at that. That corner right there. She's playing with Play-Doh and she wants to show me everything that she has done. She has a great imagination. Now, off to my left hand. to do your left hand but with this it's kind of easy you know you know the nail form does it all for you
I am all done filing down my nails. I'm just gonna clean this off as you can see the mess that I have here. Um, I'm gonna brush away all of the excess powder that I have on. And I'm gonna do the final steps which it says apply top coat and cure and UV lamp for two minutes. So that's gonna be easy because it's just all the nails. So we have the top coat here. There we go. We have a little lamp over here. Let's just take it out again. Let's just set it down here. And let's start. Feel like I So we're going to start with the top coat. If you probably have a bigger UV light, you probably could only just, you know, do all your hand at once. But since this is a really small one, I have to do it by time. So it says to leave it obviously. I'm going to leave it for two minutes. Obviously, if you have a LED lamp, you could only use it for 30 seconds to a minute. And that's a little bit easier. But since have that then I have to wait two minutes but all right I'm gonna do that to both of my hands and I'll be right back so as you can see um, I added the top coat and I cured it with the lamp for two minutes and I see a little bit of leftovers that I you know as you can see I'm just gonna cut those off finish off the nail as close as I can that's about it right there here I'm gonna have to cut a little bit right here and um, since my um, cuticles are a little bit rough I'm just gonna add some cuticle rehab on my neck on my cuticles just add that or you could use some cuticle oil I think cuticle oil would have been better and I'm just gonna rub it in now while I am rubbing this in um, I'm gonna tell you what I think of the product my final thoughts of the product I think this is super easy um, I don't know how long it's gonna last on my nails obviously it's my first time trying it but um, I've got to say the process is pretty easy once you know once you get to know it and um, it probably takes you around 35 to 30 I mean 35 to 40 minutes to um, get it from start to finish done um, like I said before practice makes perfect I have a bunch of mistakes as you can see right here I'm gonna put it up close as close as I can you can see the bubble inside here you can see the inconsistency on the tips like this one came out really good on this nail look at how pretty that came out but these came out in consistency, as you can see on the tips. Like, you can see, um, you can see, right? And um, the bubbles, obviously, like I said, I didn't press firmly. Um, these came all right. They're not that bad. They're pretty good, I think, for the first time. I need to work on my left hand, I mean, on my right hand to um, put them on better 
so and the bottle is pretty full like you could use this a couple of times like a lot of times um i do have to clean the brush i don't know how to clean it i'm gonna learn how to clean it afterwards i'm gonna look some videos up um i'm gonna put some alcohol on it right now and then i'm gonna try to clean it off as much as i can i have a paper towel here let's check it out it's coming out with some alcohol it's coming out pretty much a lot yeah just use some alcohol to clean off the brush um, as much as you can because you don't want it to you know stay there you want your brush to stay always um, nice and clean um i didn't use the spatula part this part right here i didn't use it um but that's all right i think there are plenty of a nail tips so you could choose from literally i have nothing bad to say because Obviously, I need to practice. That is in my part. It's not the product's fault. It's my part. It did, it did do what it said it was going to do. Um, they're nice and firm, as you can hear. And um, look at how nice my nails are. And before I was going to say um, that I've... Nice. Scratch. I was gonna say that um, I like my nails a little bit longer since I have chubby hands. Long nails make your hands look a little more feminine. <laughs> so yeah, that's why I like them. But I am super, super laying this product. It's super easy and fast. Like you don't need, like you could do it in, like I said, 35 to 40 minutes. It depends, it depends the lamp that you have also but once you get to know the st the steps you could just you know go through it easy because there is no forming on top you know it's just like the form does it for you the smoothness of the nail which is amazing but yeah i am super impressed that this works it only cost me 30.99 and you could get a lot done with this like for yourself as a mom like $30, that's like normal nails probably, and a little bit more. Obviously here, they're like $25, I think it is, here in Puerto Rico. But for $30.99, um, getting three little, um, three of these, like you could get a lot done. Like you're set, you're set for the whole year, I think. Um, so yeah, I'm super impressed. Really, really impressed. I really like it. I hope you guys check it out, check out this product, and if you do, and if you have tried it, tell me how you have enjoyed it and liked it. And also, I forgot to tell you, if you are new to this channel, please subscribe down below. I try to make videos like this once in a while. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. So if you did, please like, subscribe, share with friends, and I'll see you on my next video. Bye!